Kissimmee beaches are ready for the winter storms. The sand's back. <laughs> I missed the sand. Yeah, now it's the sand's all back. I mean, that was a huge work, but they pump a lot of sand. In the past year, hundreds of boulders, as well as about 2 million cubic yards of sand, have been added to the Port Wainimi Beach, which has made the beach go from this to this. They had no sand. It took all the sand out of here. It cleared, it broke the sidewalk and everything out there. That was horrible. I remember one time when I came, the water was up. To, there was water in the parking lot, and I've never seen that before. And I remember that was a while before they actually closed down the beach for like a week or two. And actually, it was actually hitting the fence, the fence line, to where the a lot of the merchandise is kept. You know, from the water just crashing up against the the rocks and against the fence. So yeah, it was pretty. Uh, we got pretty close there for a little bit. Two years ago, when a winter storm hit the city of Port Wainimi, the water came all the way up to here. It actually took out this sidewalk, eroded this section, and the water went into the street, threatening the nearby apartments. Because the water, you know, went almost to the apartments over there. So what they did, you know, they put a lot, of, you know, a wall of rocks and everything to stop, you know, the water from, you know, you know, going on the house and all that. The goal is all the work put into bringing the sand and boulders to this beach will serve as a protective layer between the shoreline and the streets. It'll be different. They, they dredged it. It should be a lot different. Do you think that's going to protect the city and make it different this year? Oh, definitely. Oh, yes, yes. All this, the one they did, you know, is, is going to be is going to be very good yeah, to protect, you know, all the cities of Port Wainimi. There's no doubt about it. Well, things are holding up well at the moment. If this storm does become more powerful or in the future when there are more powerful storms, that's when they close off this pier to protect the public. Reporting live at Port Wainimi, Kelsey Gherkins, News Channel 3. Okay, and calmer.